What is going on Volcano? My name is Jack, that fat gamer, or Volt Fat, wherever you want to call me, and today I'm back with another video for you guys. And in today's video, in the gameplay, you will be seeing the map raid. It's on Black Ops 2, obviously. Playing the domination. The Scar H goes 223 to 6, and that is by Exility. Anyway, his link and my link will be in the description, so check them both out, that would be awesome. Anyway, so we're gonna get into the topic of the commentary today. And the topic is religion. Now I myself, I'm kind of feeling like I'm an atheist in terms of I don't believe in any sort of religion. But obviously, you've got Judaism, you've got Christianity. What's your opinion on religion? Are you an atheist? Do you believe in God? Do you believe in Allah or whatever he's called? You know, so because something's crept up in my personal life, which I'm going to talk about you to you guys today. Now, my nan has something. It's not Parkinson's disease. But it's something like where she stumbles a lot, where she doesn't walk properly and where she talks funny. Not literally funny, but she talks a bit, you know, sort of says like, uh, 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 like, uh, uh, she stops halfway through sentences. And sometimes I do it when I'm thinking on the spot of a commentary, but I, it's not an illness or anything, but it is an illness for her. Now, why I'm talking about religion and why I'm talking about my nan is because my nan's a heavy believer in God. She goes to church every Sunday, if not every other day, and she spends a lot of time with things like Bibles and things like that. She's basically a heavy, heavy religious person, and she's got this illness. Now, um, I don't know whether or not it's just me or why would it ha like why would it happen to my nan if if she's a heavy believer in God now obviously I know what you can say well it happens to anybody and but part of me thinks that I'm talking a bit stupid here because I'm talking a bit of rubbish because obviously I'm kind of saying religion is kind of a protective shield over your health but it shouldn't be and I obviously isn't but part of me thinks like why would you go why would someone have to go through what my nan's going through and what will because it will affect her in the months and years to come and it will get eventually worse and eventually will kill her and I'm thinking, well, if you believe in God, you know, if the God, if God's associated with you, if Jesus is associated with you, and all that, then why is this happening? What, like, why would it happen to you? I mean, I don't really go to church that much, and things. And my, you know, my dad is a complete asshole to my mum and to my family, and he's okay, and he doesn't believe in God. He thinks it's a load. Of, he, he thinks it's a load of rubbish. He calls the church the pub, and that's just some sort of joke he plays. But actually, it's not funny, and it's kind of taking the mick really. And my nan's a heavy believer in believer in religion and things like that and this happens to her and obviously you know if if religion was real then why would there be so many bad things in the world why would the world be full of so much rubbish like you know people dying in Africa because they can't get any water or people across the world who are suffering for no apparent reason because literally it's just human nature and you know playing its part it's, it's, you know it's it's life and when people believe in God heavily and things happen like this it's like well God, are you watching over me? Are you helping my family? Or are you actually doing anything? Or are you just completely... Are you a load of rubbish? Are you just people's imagination? Are you people... Uh, are these people who talk about you are mental? You know, because really there doesn't seem to be any difference if you believe in them or not. It doesn't give... It doesn't give you any closure. I mean, it does to some people like my nan. Like, if she goes to church, it gives her some relief, some closure, some thought of someone being with her but if I go it's so I mean I bought my PSP my place is a portable um, like games console there because I was so bored and obviously I regret doing that now it's a bit disrespectful to the people there and things but this is when I was about six and I never really believed in God I never really found it to be interesting uh, it just it just never really felt as if anything was there and no God no, there's no nothing and it just seemed like a bit of a waste of time you know I'd be much rather be doing something in else in my afternoon like I don't know, cutting the grass with my mum, or playing football out with my friends, going out to the cinema with my friends, rather than being at church where I might be worshipping something that isn't even there, or believing in something that isn't even there, and listening to a load of gobbledygook. Now, you're probably thinking, oh, well, you, you're just chatting rubbish, but to be honest, I don't think I am. I think that there isn't really a, a god out there. I don't I don't know. I, I don't really know. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think. I mean, I know my topics can be kind of weird on this channel. Because I talked about graphics when people accuse me of saying there wasn't any comparison that I was chatting shit. But I wasn't. I've actually played all of the consoles and I tell from my own experience that there was no difference. But not, not, we're not about that. We're not about religion. And I don't think there is personally a religion. I think it's all a load of rubbish. I think when you think about it, you don't think it's real because it sounds like such a load of rubbish. It, life is life. Death is death. You know, you die and that's it. You know, you've lived 100 years, 80 years, 75 years and that's it. So... 
I think that's how it goes. I mean, if there was any solid proof, then, you know, I'd beg to diff, you know, I would think, hang on a minute, crap, you know, I've, I've said something I shouldn't have said, but there's no proof. That's why scientists don't believe in heaven and God, because there's no proof. They believe, obviously, mammals turn into humans and that sort of gobbledygook. I, I, I don't really believe in any of that crap, to be honest. I just, but yeah, I mean, that's kind of what I think. I don't necessarily believe it, I just think it's, that's more of a possibility than the whole God thing and Adam and Eve and things like that. I mean, obviously, I, I, I guess you guys have been taught uh, things to do with religious education at your schools and things, and maybe even get it taught, even still getting taught it now as you're probably still at school. Unlike me, I've just left school, but like at, for the end of the year, I'm now in the end. Yeah, finish year 11, I finished my GCSEs and things, but to be honest, I don't, back to the topic, I don't really think there's any type of God, I don't think there is any religion, because if this has happened to my nan and she's the heaviest believer of God in our family, then maybe it's bad to even, I mean, it sounds stupid, but it, it sounds bad to, to believe in something like this, because it just seems to be causing people harm and being upset, I mean, my mum believes in God and, you know, she's been upset for a few years, you know, and things like that, and for for various reasons, and, you know, if there was some sort of God, then why, why isn't he helping my mum out, you know, like, why isn't he also helping out the starving African children and things like that, like, why are all these bad things happening in the world, you know, why are good people suffering, you know, I mean, my dad should be the one suffering, if anyone, because he's such an asshole, but, to be honest, because he's just such an asshole, he doesn't believe in God, he doesn't, he just thinks it's all a joke and things, and then he can carry on living his life, getting loads of money and, you know, things like that, and there's my mum struggling and she believes in God, and there's my nan being, um, ill forever now and she's gonna die soon and in a few years time and there's my dad you know living his life and all that crap and and he doesn't believe in anything and my mum and my nan do and also the African kids like I've said you know there must be some sort of help around you know from someone above Jesus God you know somebody even now I don't know but but anyway guys if you have enjoyed this gameplay today be sure to drop a like that'd be awesome let's go for 150 to 200 likes something like that I'd be mad I don't know what the normal like ratio is on Vault Clan, but I presume it's quite high. But yeah, anyway guys, if you have enjoyed, please check out the player's channel as well. His name is... Exolidity. I'm sorry, man, I cannot pronounce your name, but you're definitely an awesome player. He went 223 and 6 in this gameplay on Raid with the Scar H. So that was definitely an awesome gameplay. I obviously skipped a few bits because some of it was a bit slow paced than others, but it was still an awesome gameplay nonetheless. Now, thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you do take in what I said. I know it might have been a bit different, a bit of a ramble, but I still hope you guys can understand what I was on about and what's going on right now. And basically, that's kind of how I'm feeling. And yeah, anyway, so I'm gonna stop rambling now. Check out. You can check, guys. Can check out my channel if you want, and also the player's channel on the description below. And yeah, stay awesome, Vault Clan, and peace.